May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable unto you, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Why is it called Good Friday? That's what one of the children in the after-school program asked me Monday afternoon. Why is it called Good Friday when Jesus died on that Friday? Why is that good? Pretty good question, right? For a little one to ask. Pretty good question for bigger ones to consider. So let's consider it. You know, if, if you look it up, if you just search for it on the internet, it will give you two answers, primarily. 99%, well, I didn't go through all the pages of responses, but it seemed like about 99% of the answers were one of two responses. That back in the day, the idea of good meant holy. So, Holy Friday, Good Friday, Okay, not a very satisfying answer. The other answer is worse still, that somewhere along the line, the idea of good and God got kind of mixed up or woven together or used synonymously, and so it's God Friday or Good Friday. And I have to tell you, that one just doesn't work for me at all. But I can still answer that child's question. And before uh, you start to spread the rumor that your pastor has to look up answers on the internet for children in the after school program, that's not what happened. Um, my answer to that child was immediate. I said, that's the day that Jesus died for our sins. That was a good day for me. It cost him everything but it gave me everything. It took away all of my transgressions, every sin, every thought, every non-thought, those things that I should have thought. It even took away those sins. It took away all of the sins of, of my actions. And worse still, he took away all the sins of my inaction on that day. All the things that I said that I wish I hadn't said and all the things that I didn't say that later I wished I had said, even those sins he took away on that day. Furthermore, even those sins I was too stupid to be aware that I had transgressed, he took away on that day. And not just mine, but yours. That's a good day when your sins are taken away. And not just mine and your sins, but the sins of a world. Not just the sins of the people living in the world at the time of his death, but all those before and all those since. Otherwise, we would be lost. That's what happened on Good Friday. He was numbered with the transgressors and he bore the sin of many. He bore the sin of a countless number. Oh, I'm sure he knows the number, but I can't count it, nor do I care to. All of that happened for all those people and for you and me on a Friday that we call good. Not because we can't say good and say God instead. Not because we're using a synonym for holy, but simply because he was willing to bear our iniquities on the tree. It's a good day for you and me. Amen.